Congratulations, you've just purchased a new pool. This is an exciting new addition to your home that will provide hours of summer fun and relaxation. After you've carefully selected your perfect swimming pool, the next questions are, where is the best spot? How does it get to my home? How is it built? And how long will it take? First, know what's below before digging. Most electric, gas, water, sewer, sprinkler, and telecommunications companies deliver utility services underground. Contact your free local surveying services to notify the appropriate parties before the installation begins. Utility companies will then be alerted to mark your property for safe digging. Follow up with any town permits and HOA rules that may apply for your pool's installation. Second, prepare your space for the pool delivery. Our team will reach out to you with a delivery date for the pool materials. Please keep in mind that your pool delivery and installation take place on two different dates. Call your local Great Escape to schedule a delivery date for the pool materials prior to your installation. Depending on the pool size, all the items associated with the delivery are usually bundled on one or two 4x4 pallets. The delivery team will then maneuver the pallets into the garage to protect them from the elements and keep them secure. Third, prepare for the installation. Pool installations can be messy because they involve large amounts of dirt being lifted and transported with a large machine called a bobcat. The bobcat has big treads that will create a path in your grass to and from the dig site. This is a part of the process and cannot be avoided. Wet earth and soft ground can potentially make the process messier. Since the process will create large piles of earth, the homeowner must decide how to remove or use it. Some of our affiliated installers offer to haul away the dirt for an additional cost. However, arrangements should be made prior to the installation date. Note that smaller yards will have a bigger mess because the Bobcat has less space to move and make the piles. Also note that the installers are not responsible for removing gates, shrubbery, hedges, or fencing. Please plan with the appropriate organizations prior to your installation date. The average installation process takes about four hours, depending on the size of the pool. The installation crew measures the shape of the pool and proceeds to use a tool called a leveler to check for any possible inclines. In most cases, spray paint is then applied to the grass as a guide for the bobcat. The shape of the pool is then carved out using the bobcat. The tracks of the bobcat levels the ground so that there aren't any inclines or areas of uneven ground. Piles of dirt are formed around the dig site to be used as packing for the base of the pool walls once the pool is filled with water. This extra dirt is called backfill. Backfill prevents distortion of the pool shape and helps provide a sturdy base. Next, the crew puts down a track in the shape of the pool. The cinder blocks are added near the joints of the track for support. These also mark where the wall support pillars will be placed. As the track and supports are placed, other members of the crew unbox and assemble the wall support pillars. These will hold the panels of the pool wall. Once the track is assembled and the cinder blocks are in place, the crew measures the pool shape so it is within factory specifications. The measurements are taken at distinct points to ensure the correct size and shape of the pool. The crew then uses a leveling system to measure the depth of each support block. The device beeps so that the team is alerted if the block needs to be adjusted. Once all of the support blocks are level and the track is installed, the crew brings in sand to add on top of the soil. The sand will act as a base for the pool floor. In the case of an oval pool, cross supports are laid in the base to prevent the pool from collapsing inward. These supports are covered with sand to ensure a smooth base. Next, the crew brings the wall to the center of the pool base. The wall looks like a roll. The roll has the exact amount of wall needed for the customer's selected size and shape. They unroll the wall out from the center to the edge of the track. The uprights are then secured to the track and the wall is brought to meet the uprights. The wall is then placed in the track. 
A trim piece is applied along the top edge of the wall to stabilize the shape of the pool. Although the walls are upright, they are not secured at this point. Most pools come equipped with a stainless steel panel, located where the skimmer and return will be installed. The filtration system access panel is the only piece of the pool wall that has pre-drilled holes running vertically. Bolts are used to secure it to the pool wall roll. With the wall up, the sand located inside of the pool is leveled and smoothed to create an even base for the liner. The crew member normally moves from the center of the pool towards the outer edges to provide additional support for the wall base. Backfill is then taken from the dirt mounts. The crew only adds enough to cover the tracks at the base of the pool. Please plan for the remaining dirt to be removed prior to the installation for an additional fee. The liner is then unrolled and placed in the pool. The crew fits the liner up against the pool wall and secures it with the trim pieces. Once the liner is secured with all the trim pieces, a shop vacuum can be used to suck the air out of the space between the wall and the liner. Using the customer's garden hose, water is added to the base of the pool to further strengthen the foundation and provide tension against the liner, walls, and support pillars so that the final pool shape is established. Note that the installation crew is responsible for filling the pool with only a few inches of water so that the liner is held in place. The customer is responsible for filling the remainder of the pool. Once the water is in and the rails are in place, a triangle cap is placed on top of the pillar to form a rail-pillar-rail -rail conjunction. The cap is secured with screws and the pillar is complete. The crew finishes the pool by installing the skimmer, return, and filtration system into the access panel. Heater installation and electrical requirements for the pump are not covered by the installers. These will need to be handled by the customer. With the installation complete, the crew bundles the boxes and other packaging materials together so the customer can place it in the trash. Installers are not responsible for hauling away or disposal of packing materials. The crew collects their tools and departs. Now that your pool is installed, we recommend that you schedule a visit from an electrician one to two days after the crew completes assembly. We also recommend taking a sample of your filled pool water to your local Great Escape store for a free water test. Our pool specialists can help you balance your water so that your first dip is worry-free. Once your electrician and pool specialists give you the okay, grab a floaty and invite all the friends over to enjoy your new pool. If you have any questions or concerns about your water or pool during the startup process, feel free to contact your local Great Escape team. We're happy to help.